Today on the Two Car Garage, we're going to take these bulky, noisy trunk lid springs and replace them with some struts. Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to take the springs off of the hinge for the trunk lid and uh, we're going to replace it with uh, one of these air struts. This should be uh, pretty quick, so let's get to it. All right, here we go. So here's what's going on. This is our original hood hinge and it still has the original spring in it. And we are going to be replacing it with this, with this air strut. Now the kit that I bought, I got from MP here and it includes the air strut and it also includes some uh, some mounting hardware and I'm not real crazy about this mounting hardware so when we get to actually putting this together I'm going to show you a uh, a better way of, of getting this mounted up but first things first we have to get the old spring off and here's how we handled that I just took my little my little cutoff wheel with, and used that as a grinder to grind the the rivet off here just brought it down till it was flush with the hood hinge and then we went ahead and and chucked it in the vise and compressed the spring to the point where I could then drive the pin out now you got to be really careful because these springs are under a lot of tension and then once we get the pin driven out we relieve the tension and then I'm able to separate this now I do have this already separated here and what I've done is I've just gone and recompressed the hinge. I've inserted the rivet back in place just to keep this assembly together. And now we can go ahead and set that aside. There is still a little bit of cleanup work that needs to be done. If you take a look at the inside here, you can see there's a couple little burrs right up in here. And those are just, you know, left over from when the rivet was compressed. And then when I drove it out, it took some metal with it. So again, I'm just going to take my little my little grinding wheel. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to just clean this up. Probably follow up with a little bit of a file, and then this whole this whole thing is kind of distorted. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll lay it on a flat bar in the vise, and we'll just kind of hammer this stuff till it's smooth. And once we've got that done, then we're ready to proceed with uh, installing the strut. So with the spring removed here, we are ready to go ahead and get things installed. But I want to show you what we're going to be doing here to change this up a little bit. Now the kit that I got from MP included some mounting hardware. And it is just simply a, uh, a little threaded stud here. It's just a, a long threaded stud. And a couple of uh, nylock nuts that thread together. And the idea here is to, you know, slide this in the hinge, you tighten up the nuts, the nuts are semi adjustable, so you can get the right amount of tension on there, and then things kind of hold together. And realistically, it's just fine, you could leave it, you could put it together like this, leave it be and you're not going to have any issues. But I don't, uh, I don't really think it's correct. You know what's happening here is this screw becomes your your hinge and you just have all these little sharp peaks on there and you're going to open and close the hood on this thing a lot you know because you got to put gas in it and all that so the constant rotation here is really just going to prematurely wear both parts so what we're going to do here is i'm going to scrap this idea and uh i'm going to throw in something a little better what we've got to replace the threaded stud is just simply a shoulder screw. You can pick these up at your local hardware store. Uh, you can order them online. They're nothing fancy. Uh, it's just a little Allen head screw, but the shaft here has actually been sized and ground to act as a pivot point. So now when I run that into my strut here, I've got a nice solid hinge here. There's a little bit of play, which is exactly what you want so things move around, but because I've got this nice surface that it's going to wear on i'm not worried about it prematurely wearing out so that's the that's the screw that we're going to be using now my local hardware store doesn't have metric shoulder screws they only have sae so that's what we're going to go with and it works out just fine what this is this is a quarter inch diameter shoulder and it's a half inch long and it's basically the exact right size for this for this application 
On the other end, to hold this together, I'm just going to be using one of these little flanged lock nuts. That will, uh, that will give us a nice wide surface to contact the hinge and, and just make things look nice. I am using stainless because what we'll do is we'll polish it because it's always going to be visible. And I figured it would just look a little bit nicer than a, than a zinc plated nut. So now that you know what's going on, let's, uh, let's hop over and uh, get this all put together. All right. Well, now that we've got this all smoothed out and we know what's going on here, uh, we just got to go ahead and get these holes drilled out and ready to accept our, our little shoulder screw here. So what we're going to do here is, uh, this is an SAE screw, so this has a, a quarter inch uh, shoulder on it, and then it has a 3 16 thread on the end, the major diameter. So we're just going to come in and uh, open up these holes so that screw will slide through. I am going to be using a step drill bit for this. We want to drill this hole as cleanly as possible. And so we'll start with the small one on this side. Shouldn't take a lot. You can see that just popped right through. It was basically the right size. And we'll just check and you can see that our, our thread does go through this side. Now the larger side, that's gonna be a quarter inch hole. So we gotta open that up a little bit more. And there we have it. So now with that installed, you can see here that when I tighten this up, what's going to happen is it's going to, it'll pinch this down and this side of the hinge is actually going to butt up against this shoulder so I can tighten my nut and it's going to hold that solid. So now I'm just going to go ahead and back this out here. And I do have a few little burrs here from the drilling. I do want to get rid of those. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up here real quick and then we'll uh, we'll get to installing this all right so now that we've got the burrs cleaned up here and everything is nice and nice and smooth inside it's it's really just time to, to slap this together now if I do put this together you'll notice that the the shoulder of this screw is actually quite a bit longer than the than the width of this head here now you can push this out just a little bit to make up for the thickness of the hinge itself, but there's still going to be a, a bit of a step there, which means this thing would have some, some side to side play. In reality, that's not a huge deal, but what we're, we're going to do here is I've just got a, a thin washer. We'll slide that in place here and that's going to take up that space and just make sure it's not quite, quite as sloppy as it could be. So I'm just going to take my strut. I'm going to slide that in place. We'll run the screw in to the strut. Just as that's about to poke through, I'm going to take my washer We'll lay that down on here, just slide that in place, there we go. And now I just want to make sure that the, the shoulder of the screw is going to be going into the washer. I don't want to tighten up on, on top of the washer, but now I can just go ahead and throw my Throw my nut on here. There we go. Now we can just snug this guy up here. And there we have it. This thing is now ready to install. We've got a nice, nice hinge. We've got the, the play that we want to make sure that nothing binds. And uh, I can just go ahead and bolt this back in the car, put the hood back on it, and, and we're all set to go. However, if you've watched a two-car garage before, you know that we can't leave well enough alone. And if you take a look at this, um, it's just got this big bulky head on the screw here that's kind of kind of on the ugly side. And worse, on this side here where the nut is, you can see that the threads actually kind of stick out the end. 
And what we've done, if we look at the other hinge that we've completed here, I went ahead and chucked this up in my lathe and I just machined the head back a little bit. Just kind of reprofiled it, just to clean it up, make it look a little nicer. And then we went ahead and shortened up the threads on the nut side of things, just so it doesn't stick out quite as far. And after we did that, we went ahead and uh, blackened it just to, uh, just to make it look good. Let me go ahead and uh, pop this back apart here and I'll, I'll show you what it is that we did. All right, so now with this screw here removed, what I've done is I just went and made up a little, little collet here to hold this in the lathe so I can get that chucked up in the lathe and then I was able to just, just reshape the head. I didn't make it any smaller in diameter. All I did was put a little bit of a taper on it just again to, to clean it up, make it look nicer. And then, and then we sanded it to put a little polish on it. And then I was able to then turn it around and we actually just machined it back to the right length. Again, I took a file, smoothed out the end, kind of put a slight uh, radius on it, hit it with some sandpaper to polish it up and then, and then blackened it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get this all remachined here. And uh, once I get that done, I'll show you how we blackened it. And then, uh, and then we should be done. All right, so I'm back from the lathe. I went ahead and, like I said, I just kind of reshaped the head here a little bit just to make it look a little bit nicer when it's on the car. We did shorten the threads here. And then again, I just kind of rounded off the end and polished it up just to make it look a little bit nicer. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, blacken this. And to do that, I'm just simply going to heat it up with my torch. I'm going to change the color of it. Once it reaches the, the blue color that I want, we're going to spray some oil on there. I'm just using WD-40. That, uh, that will blacken it, seal it up, and, uh, and then it'll be all set to go. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of non-chlorinated brake clean just to remove any, any crud and oils that are on there right now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab it right in the middle here and we'll just go ahead and get things going. So now I'm just going to So now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to heat this whole thing up. I'm starting on the, the larger part here. And we're, we're just going to heat this thing until it starts to turn blue. Keep your eye on the color there. I want to try to heat this as evenly as possible to get the most uniform color. And here we are. We're starting to change. See it kind of goes to a, a bit of a straw color. Now it's more of a golden brown. We're going to go just a little bit further. Here we are. We've reached this bluish color. That is good. Now we're just going to give it a little, little spray with some WD-40. And now, before this is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and heat this up one more time. Help dry up some of the solvents that are on there. And uh, kind of lock in that color. And there we have it. There's our head all darkened up. So now we're going to go ahead and do the, the end of the threads here. Exact same way. We're just going to warm this up until the color changes to where we want it, which is right there. Give that a little spray. Get rid of some of the excess here. Give that another heat. And there it is. That thing is all set to go. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, let this cool off, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do any of this. You can use this kit that comes with the, with the struts and it would work just fine. There's going to be hundreds of cars out there that are running this. But using this shoulder bolt is just going to make it that much nicer. And really, for me, it's, it's a good peace of mind. 
As far as cleaning up the screw and polishing that and re-blackening it, again, not at all necessary. You could run it exactly as it was and it's going to work just fine. But it's those little details that really, that really count. All right, well, I went ahead and just put things back together here and now you can see how how nice this head looks. It's all darkened up and nice and smooth, not quite as not quite as rough looking as it was to begin with. The threads are just poking out the end here of this nut and uh, again darkened up so it, I think it's going to look real nice once we get the get the nut polished and get this hinge painted. Everything should uh, should work together really nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the hinges back on the car. I'll get the hood remounted and We'll just kind of show you the final product. All right, there we have it. Everything's installed, everything's working nicely, and uh, this project is finished. Now, we will be putting some Loctite on the threads here when we assemble this for the final time. But for now, at least we've got everything put together and we can just get moving on to the next steps with this project. So that's it, that's really all we have for today. So thanks for hanging out here, and uh, really, until the next one, I'll just see you around.